Welcome to the boating adventure. Well, a very good afternoon to you. It is um, Tuesday, the 22nd of August, 2023. And as you can see, I've come to the Willington Wetland Nature Reserve. And this is just off the Trent and Mersey Canal at Willington. If you moor up at the visitor moorings at Willington, it's about a 10 to 15 minute walk to take you to this uh, um, reserve. So I've passed this a few times on the Trent and Mersey Canal and I thought next time I've got some uh, time I'll come and have a look at this in some greater detail. So come and join me. Uh, we did find that when we were looking for the entrance to this place there aren't any signs to it that we could see in the village. So what you have to do is you have to head for the Repton Road and just off the Repton Road, before you go over the bridge to the River Trent, there's a, a little um, a track off on the right hand side and there's a, a car park with a height barrier. You'll see that from the road. Um, there's enough space there for about three or four cars. But if you've... Um, if you've arrived here by boat, then it's simply uh, find the uh, Dragon Pub. And once you get to the Dragon Pub, then head for the centre of uh, Willington, where there's uh, two mini roundabouts, and you'll see the sign that takes you up to Repton. And that's where you need to head to. This wetland was formed out of some old uh, gravel pit workings and you will find references on the internet to the Willington Gravel Pits Nature Reserve. Now the one thing that uh, attracted me to this place was I was reading up about it whilst I was um, in this area on the boat and it did say that this was one of the uh, places where they've introduced beavers back into the UK. So there is a beaver colony that's been established here now, I, I think we'd be extremely lucky <laughs> to spot a beaver at, at the moment because they are nocturnal for one thing, but you never know, you look, we might see some evidence of some uh, habitat. If you do come here and you bring a dog with you, then you need to make sure your dog is kept on a lead because uh, the dogs can do an enormous amount of uh, damage when they interfere with uh, nesting birds, particularly those that build their nests on the ground. So this is the first observation deck that we have come to and there's some helpful information here about the uh, birds and wildlife that is around. Obviously lots of mallards as you'd expect but then other things like red shanks, oyster catchers which you can hear if they're here. Coots, of course. S snipes, lapwings, widgeon. So this says, welcome to this nature reserve. This site is important for a range of wetland birds, including waders and wildfowl, which visit the pools and surrounding shallows to feed, breed and pair up. Our wetland nature reserves are also important for a whole range of other flora and fauna, including mammals, dragonflies and flowering plants. 
and there's some information here about the beavers. We have four adult beavers here at Willington Wetlands, which were reintroduced in late September and early October 2021. The first back in Derbyshire since they were hunted to extinction here some 800 years ago. Okay, so there's one of the beavers in case we don't spot it, but it does say that have a look in the reed beds and you might spot one. There are also otters uh, present around about as well. If you pause this video at this point, you can scan the QR code with your mobile phone or tablet and you can get a whole load of more information about these different species in this uh, wildlife sanctuary and that includes uh, video footage of the beavers. Welcome back if you've been viewing that pretty extensive website. This particular pond seems to be a favourite of a grey heron. The grey heron is the top bird predator of the freshwater food pyramid, a status which affords it a wide range of diet, but also makes it vulnerable to the build-up of toxic chemicals in water. Despite this and other threats, the number of heron pairs in England and Wales remains stable. The large, stately and distinctively looking grey heron is generally found beside or in fresh water. You may also spot it flying with its long neck tucked in against its body and its legs stretching far beyond the tip of its tail. The harsh, honking call of the heron is a familiar sound on the marshes, instantly recognisable to bird watchers and the many anglers who come across herons while they themselves are fishing. So it's a little bit of a muddy path <laughs> walking around here, but it's not too bad. Over the fence is the uh, River Trent. And then the other side of those uh, ponds is the Trent and Mersey Canal. So this is the land which falls directly between the two waterways. So these are the views from the second viewing platform and uh, got some swans in the distance and lots of reed beds here so we keep our eyes skinned just in case we see a beaver. <laughs> if there's only four it's quite a large area <laughs> to try and spot them. So this is observation number four, but you can see it's got a hide to it, so might go and have a look in there. I'm 
currently sitting in a bird hide. We're going to sit here very quietly and do some observation. Swans, the aristocrats of the waterways, the mute swan that once graced the tables of medieval banquets is now protected. It is, however, vulnerable to the modern hazards of overhead power cables and fishing tackle. Despite its name, the mute swan will snort and hiss noisily if it feels threatened. You will find mute swans wherever there are sizable expanses of relatively still water. These majestic birds are at home on slow flowing rivers, gravel pits and large ponds. Lapwings and mallards side by side. The lapwing is one of the waders. Countrymen often know it as the peewit after its distinctive peewit call. 
At one time they were a common sight on ploughed fields, but because of the use of insecticides and farm machinery which destroys nests, they've been driven to meadows and marshes in the summer. Look out for a pair of great crested grebes. The grebe's nest is often a floating platform of weeds anchored amongst the reeds at the edge of a freshwater lake. Fish are caught by shallow diving. A coot, and I'm sure that's not a shark. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video of our visit to Willington Wetlands Nature Reserve. So thank you very much for all your support and as always do take care.